Alright, so today we're going to step through the process of upgrading your DeepFreeze Enterprise console from whatever version you're running to the current. Now, generally speaking, as far as upgrades go, as long as you're one or two versions back, you're generally okay. If, however, you're running something really old, so like a, a 6.x release, th these instructions won't really apply to you, and you probably want to give our support guys a call and get some instructions on how to do that properly uh, without causing yourself any difficulty. So before you begin, a couple things you need to make sure you have. One, make sure you have your license key. Two, make sure you have your customization code. Three, make sure you've downloaded the latest version of our software from our website. So the first thing we need to do is check to see if the version we have on the machine is up to date. So if you go help, click on about, this will show you the version of the software that you're running. So in this case, uh, version 8.51. Now, if there is an update, generally you're going to see it show up on the bugle here, or you'll maybe get an email or see a post on our support portal indicating that. Um, once you see that, just download the latest version from Pronix Labs or from Pronix Customer Center if you're outside of North America. Once you've downloaded the file, we want to close up the Enterprise Console, and then we just basically double click and run the installer package here. Click yes, click next, accept the license agreement, and select the option to upgrade deep freeze. Now what it's going to go through, it's going to go through and do the install of all the server components, updating the enterprise console, the configuration administrator, as well any installation files that you have saved in the default location on the server are going to be updated as well. If your installation files are saved somewhere else, so um, a network share or some other folder where you put them to back them up for archival purposes, what you'll want to do is you'll want to make sure that you go through and update those as you go through. Now, if you want to keep copies of the old stuff, you can back all this up. So if you're running on a virtual machine, just take a snapshot. If you're running on physical hardware, then yeah, just make a copy of the program files x86 Veronix folder, and that'll get you copies of whatever you need. So Deep Freeze has been successfully upgraded, and now you'll see the Enterprise Console start up to go through some uh, post-install tasks. Now for this upgrade, it did not ask me for my customization code. In some cases it will. That's why it's imperative that you make sure that you have that code. Because as soon as you click OK to do the upgrade, you're past the point of no return. So if you don't have your customization code and you run this upgrade, you've got the potential to bork your whole system and leave yourself in a not so great state. So now that we're upgraded, we can verify that it's been installed by going help and about and now you'll see version 852. Now once the workstations have reported back in, what you're going to see in the Enterprise Console is they're now all showing up with this red indicator. This shows you that they're running an older version of the software and that an upgrade needs to be applied. Now you don't have to do it right away. You can still thaw machines, you can freeze them, you can reboot them. What you won't be able to do is make any changes to the configuration. So I can't do a configuration update, I can't do an on-demand Windows update, anything that alters the configuration. Um, the upgrade process is pretty simple. The easiest way to do it is you just select your machine, right click on it, and hit update. Now when you hit update, what this is going to do is this is going to go through and automatically thaw the machine out, copy the installation package to it, remove the old version, put the new version on, and once that's done, it's going to show up in here with the updated version number, and it'll go through the activation process. Um, you can do multiple machines. If they're not online right now, you can come back and get them later. Um, and that's generally the upgrade process. So the other way we can do the upgrade is I can click on the machine, and what I can do is I can reboot it thawed, and then once it's thawed, I can uninstall Deep Freeze and then do a reinstall with a different configuration if I want. Um, useful if you want to change, say, the thaw spaces or some other setting on the system. And you uh, want to just do that now as opposed to taking care of it later. So 
If you have any problems with the upgrade process, please feel free to reach out to the support team. Uh, they're more than happy to help you out. And even if you're just feeling unsure about it, we'd rather honestly that you give us a quick call so we can step through this process with you and uh, you know, make sure you're confident as you go through. Uh, the last thing we wanna see is uh, for you to not be confident in what's going on or run into some problem and then we have to come through and clean it up. Always easier if we can catch it ahead of time. So again, you can reach the support team, support.pharonix.com or email to support at Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day.